If you're running any kind of SaaS business, uh, software as a service, then you are inevitably going to end up with support tickets. And obviously that keeps your staff very busy, having to deal with them all every day. And the more you grow, then the more tickets you're going to get. But I want to show you in this video how we've used our own software to deflect over 15,000 support queries and questions over the last 10 months. So here's our site. This is fastbots.ai and you're welcome to sign up for a free chatbot that will do this support for you. But I'm going to show you exactly what's been going on behind the scenes to solve our problem of support tickets. So here we are in the back of our admin area for our chatbot, our own chatbot. And if we go to chat history just here, well, actually, let me just go back here and just show you right now you can see the bot has sent over 15,600 messages uh, in response to questions asked by our users and sometimes not users. People are interested in actually uh, having the software and using it. But if we go to chat history here, you can see all the conversations that have gone on. These are just conversations that have gone on for the last month there, but we can search by dates and so on. And occasionally, if you are a multinational SaaS and you're dealing with people from all around the world using your software, as is often the case with uh, software as a service, then you're going to get people who want to speak in their own language as well. So what we have right here is the ability to go and translate any of the conversations that are coming in like this. There's Chinese there, um, perhaps Hebrew as well, uh, Arabic and so on. We can just select the conversations choose English as our chosen uh, translation language or yours if it's French, Spanish, whatever you would like. And then in a couple of moments, you can see how it's saying translating there. In a couple of moments, we're able to read that conversation um, and understand exactly what was going on with that support request. So very, very powerful. If I just refresh that now, that will be done. There you go. You can see it says translated and they're asking about uh, React and JavaScript and things like that. Uh, this one here, uh, which model am I speaking with now? So they want to know which AI uh, language model they're speaking with. So all of these things here, um, all of these different conversations are basically support qu queries. So this one here, uh, this gentleman here is asking, can you speak Arabic? Um, and then uh, we respond in Arabic as well because the AI can do that. And then he's asking about uh, voice chat and can you go back to speaking English and then so on. So the chatbot is able to help with almost every query that we get. And it's really, really reducing the amount of human support time that's needed. In the event that uh, it cannot answer a question because it doesn't have that knowledge in its database, then we can send them through to get help from a real human. But you can train the chatbot on your SaaS's uh, entire knowledge base in minutes. You can see here we've got all of the pages from Fastbots and the, the help pages here, if I open this new one up. So we've trained the, the chatbot on all of this step-by-step uh, -step tutorial here, all of it and every single one. So it understands the platform inside out and can even show screenshots in its answers. So very, very powerful. And as you know, if you're a SaaS owner, you regularly update your software, therefore things change and therefore those tutorials will often change. So we can set our chatbot to auto retrain on the pages, i.e. go back every hour, every day, every month, whatever you need it to do at a certain time and go back over the information and check for any changes so that your chatbot is kept up to date and provides accurate support. And you can see here, we've chosen to do a daily refresh at 5 p.m. on a lot of our help and support documents. And then when you get questions that your chatbot does not know the answer to, we can help it out. And we can do that by going to the Q&A section here and we can just fill out any new question and answer pairing. Um, so for example, what payment methods do you accept was one that we didn't have on our website somewhere, perhaps we should do. Um, and it says their answer, we accept credit and debit cards via our payment provider Stripe. We just save that information and then 
we're filling in all of the gaps to make our chatbot provide even better support and deflect more support tickets. You can see there's literally hundreds of uh, question and answer pairs that we've added here over the last 10 months just to make our chatbot even better as it goes. Now I'm going to show you how you can do this right now uh, for your own uh, SaaS software. So we would go, once you've signed up for a free account, you can do that right here with FastBots. Just click sign up free, get your free account. You'll be presented with this, the chance to go and make a new chatbot. Now I found this software called SEODity. I've used it myself, it's pretty good. And uh, down the bottom of this site, I noticed that they had somewhere here, a knowledge base. There we go. So they've got a really good knowledge base. Well, we can train a chatbot on that knowledge base in seconds and have it answer questions. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So first of all, let's name our chatbot. We'll call it SEO uh, Ditty. There we go. And we'll make it public so that we can add it to our website. And then I'm going to actually use, uh, instead of just putting in the website URL, which I could do, I'm going to use the sitemap. Also, if you are already using something like Freshdesk, you can import the entire contents of your Freshdesk uh, website straight into this software ready to use for the, uh, the chatbot. But I'm gonna go with the sitemap option because I know if I just add in at the end of this forward stroke sitemap.xml, there we go. If I, if I can spell sitemap, that would also be really good. There you go. So here's the sitemap for that knowledge base. And I'm just going to use that to train our chatbot. There it goes. Click start. And now we've got all of the URLs that are there in the support documentation. I click save. And then that is it. The chatbot has all of that information done and your chatbot is ready to use. I'm not exaggerating. That is how quick it is. Now we can customize the look and feel of the chat window. We can change the prompt, choose the language model. But right now, I'm just going to show you. Let me let me just go back to the SEODT docs. Let's just say um, something about uh, search intent. Here we go. I'm going to ask it to tell me something I don't know, basically, about search intent. So uh, can you tell me about search intent? There we go. Let's test out the chatbot. There you go. Search intent, also known as user intent, refers to the primary goal. Um, and then it goes through everything right here that is in that knowledge base. So can you see how helpful this will be to somebody who's got a question about search intent, you know, for that particular software? They get a rapid, accurate answer only coming from your own knowledge base and your own data, not the whole of ChatGPT. And then once somebody's had a conversation with your chatbot, you can be emailed to be notified that that's happened. Here it is, we can see the languages that we're using. And by the way, um, with this particular um, platform, with FastBots, we have the option of using all of these different models and we keep adding them as they come out. Uh, for example, the best one at the moment, GPT-4 O Omni, is the one to use, really. And then we can change the creativity of the settings there and add in our own uh, prompt. For example, we can tell the AI what to do if it doesn't know the answer. So uh, our, our users are always happy and they're always getting good information. So that's it. So that is how you can deflect an absolute ton of support tickets for your SaaS software and reduce those the daily grind of having to answer the same questions when someone can get an answer at, at 3 a.m. on a Saturday night about your software that might make them be able to make the decision to purchase your software. Because remember, this can help sell your software as well as just provide basic knowledgeable support. So it can do both. And we can encourage people to uh, sign up for a free trial and things like that within the conversation. So it can be a very skilled salesperson as well as a support agent. So there it is, fastbots.ai. Sign up for free. There's a link underneath this video if you want to start deflecting thousands and thousands of support tickets with AI. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video in just a second.